welcome back to my channel today will be requested video tutorial we have new new how what should they say um, new member to the cross stitching team <laughs> uh, I have a lovely uh, viewer subscriber on my channel and that is Claudia from Lima, Peru. I bet your country looks so beautiful. And she recently just um, wanted to start cross stitch. Or uh, let's see, I think somebody gifted her. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Um, yes she she got a cross stitch canvas from a friend and it was a counted cross stitch so she was looking on my channel to see some tutorials and i do have some tutorials about counted cross stitch i even did some marking but i guess they sink way too far away and she had um hard time to find it so I thought okay let me just quickly kind of do it again tutorial maybe something new I can add to this video not sure but I found in here I have um, recently I did review this canvas and that is a count at cross stitch so I thought that would be perfect for me to do this tutorial and this canvas is from biggest craft now i did order same canvas it says printed canvas same design from i can't remember um maybe everyday crafts i can't remember from where seriously but uh same design i believe i did order to see if that would be a joy sunday or not and it should be printed so if some of you like this rainy day what is it called rainy day oh no in the rain if some of you like this design hold on till i receive my package and hopefully maybe some of you can um because at uh, that time i did a video review on two canvases and they were both counted so hopefully we can get some um you know imprinted also the other design i was looking also if i can find imprinted but did not have yet so yes this design is beautiful and here's the threads to go with it which we don't need this right now uh well okay i do need the pattern in here for the sake of review and we have oh, this is the book What's this image have 58 colors which is good amount of colors and I want to do comparison video between this one and the printed I wanted to see if that would be same amount of colors or not okay uh, uh -huh. this is uh, separated kind of on both sides but we will try to figure out where would be center okay this is would be like this and that is beginning of the house sometimes they kind of have mark oh no they have yeah they they do have a red line where is the center okay okay so first thing when you've received your counted cross stitch and you don't know when where to start what you need to do first and that is to fold your canvas directly on, uh, on half press your half because it's the way it was put inside of the uh, inside of the packaging was in the center and then you do again fold on half again this is the easiest way to find a center of your canvas and this side is printed uh, I mean folded 
kind of right okay maybe a little bit now this fold where you have this is the edges this is the center of your canvas kind of press in here you can even grab your or or pin to actually this is the pins that i made myself years ago uh, so what you can do, you can pin right in the center in here to make your pin. Okay, just like that. Or the other side that would be much easier probably is to grab your marker that dissolve in the water when you wash make sure make sure you get the marker the one that designed to use for cross stitch and you just literally will mark okay we, we are going a little bit off the focus maybe okay just just make a blue dot okay just like Mm, just like that okay let's let's find a focus let's find it there okay so what next now obviously I don't need this pin because I already have I already have my marking done in here and I'm not sure if it's in here have difference uh, maybe this one more bumpy this is more flat so I would say this is the face of the canvas it will be go after focus I will have to keep something colorful on the top for time being okay we're just gonna keep this as our camera magnet okay so here it is design make sure figure out how your design showing you so obviously it's more wider than taller so that's how you have to put your canvas this is the wider this is how it's tall so you need to position your canvas first now next what I would do if you want to start you can start now from the center of your canvas if you don't want to count to start from the corner for example this corner or this any corner you're comfortable to start um, you basically right now you can start stitch right in here for that you need to find a center of your pattern so in here it will look if we look on your design in here you will see that we have a red line usually that's the center of your design so we have this is horizontal line and then I see that right in here on the very very edge red line so that would be stick of your center this this particular edge that's your center of the canvas okay that's where you start to stitch from here but if you don't want to start from the center I would create marking now each of this squares okay let's just get the center square here this is hundred stitches so it's a 10 this way and 10 this way I usually like to pre-mark my canvas for there you need your ruler and I have my dot blue dot right in here so I would I will mark my canvas now do your marking line not on a bumpy area let me show you a little bit because this tutorial is for beginners beginners so for those of you who already know very well you can skip this video now we have in here see like the bumpy area and the area all the holes I'm marking go over the holes because your center stitch will be you can't do on a hole 
your your first stitch will be the bumpy area because that's how your X stitch would go. So make sure you drag your ruler and your marker find your point where you mark and they just do next to it line up your ruler all the way to the holes we don't know yet how far we have to go down or up so I will just like okay hopefully this is not empty yet okay Sometimes to make this work, you need to pump the, because it's not empty, you just do like push it down to start ink coming out. Because it was laying uh, flat, so maybe the ink went a little bit. Okay, let's try now, because it's barely visible. I have to wait a little bit longer, I guess. Because <coughs> I have in here um, kind of if my if I put my pen in here and this piece is kind of like a up, so the ink go away. Need to be keep a little bit flat, but. Hopefully it's not leaking as well. So I definitely need to pump it because this this tip is moving when you push it. Usually I don't do very very bright lines. Uh, you can see in here that you. Can you see? Yes, you can see my line. That's I make them very, very light line. So I do this line and I go from my center. Basically, you can create with your hand uh, just like this and like this, your first X to see better where your center is. So now I will create from this center point my line, go the other way to find the center of my canvas so it's more visible. I definitely need to grab different pen maybe. Oh, this one is not visible. Okay. I will use my other one, the one that um, go away with the heat, but it's not going to come out when you wash, only when you iron. Um, <laughs> no, I don't want to use this one. I want to save this one, so I have to work it. Okay, let me pause and I'm going to make this pen work a little bit better okay looks like my pen working now better and I changed a little bit position on my camera so you can see a little bit better so we created our first line and then I will do as much as my ruler can do okay now you can see that we have a mark in blue okay so this is our center i will redo a little bit this one as well because it's a little bit too light okay this is what you need to do when you want to start from the center so this is your center or you can literally just put x right but if you want to mark your canvas uh, grid all the way, that would be much, much easier to um, orient yourself on the canvas where you're working. So for that, you can use your pins to, uh, we will need to count 
10. So I will count my first, uh, this center where I am right now, and I will count 10. So you don't count this first, right? So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put your pin in here. Or you can do mark in here your line. Okay. But before you mark, count again sometimes you can mistake and if you make a mistake later will be really difficult to fix it if you already start stitching and make mistake in stitching then you have to tear apart so uh, better just do it again put your pin I hope you can see it put your pin on the first and then count one because you need to have this full square as a one, right? So you can count on the top if you want to, not just a whole. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's our next line. And keep continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is our next okay and then go also this way so from center one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm afraid to mistake in here because it's a little bit dark for me And let's make one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, just to make sure, I will count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Usually when I count, I count with magnifier so I can see better. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm just going to recount this one as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this one is right. So now it would be easier and you can count down now we have this red line in here okay where is the top where is the bottom of the design just a minute because we are counting down uh, so basically okay this is wouldn't be see i already make a little bit mistake and i will tell you why because the center in here center in here doesn't start from 10 and 10 from between of them see the center in here is only one two three four so one square is split so whatever marking I make in here that's what I'm saying you have to really be careful sometimes the center start like in the middle okay I'll show you here in the middle of the squares right in this example our center start this is the uh, square of hundreds but here is the red line so it's not exactly our proper counting in here so we have to do it again that that's totally my mistake because i didn't check first and that's i make this mistake few times like this for now because I did not check how it started and that's the good example um, not to make a mistake okay so what we will do now because in in here our center right in here and it's going to be exactly same center that line go uh, again in the middle of our strip in here 
so what you need to do we're gonna count where is my pen okay here is my pen I might need to a little bit okay so the center our center in here and from center we need to count one two three four so I will do one two three four this is my center will be for this design my first square right in here so this marking not gonna be right uh, at this point I can literally just wash if I want to and redo it again but that's okay it can stay this way and now on a, another side we have to flip this design to the other side because where is our red line in here let me find it I don't even have on this side red line what oh no I see a red line in here but I don't see red line go the other way oh well uh, we need to count 10 anyway so if we have in here 4 and on the other side will be obviously 6 in here 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, and no line in here because the red line on another side that's why so never mind me I'm probably confusing you right now even more so anyway this is your center but you have to make a square in here so we have in here four and now from this center we have to make it one two three four five six so because I did not count did not make a marking on this side so this is going to be our right one now I will make my line in here might be a little bit too loud Uh, I purchased this market in Wal uh, marker in Walmart and I had this already for a few years uh, pretty good so now my other those four ones I will create my new line in here because I did not make any marking too much yet line so that's okay now as you can see okay this line not very visible I might need to pump a little bit more my pen sometimes just not as bright okay so now we have here is one line here is another line so now we have to figure out uh, how many we have to count this way to find our center so we go to our first page again and count down from because it's our center up there right um, or oh, center on this side okay center on this side because that's where the red line in here uh, I count down one two three four so it's also four for this way and for this way so I'm gonna count four from center one two three four okay so my first marking will be up there one two three four there and then six will be up double check if I count right where is the main uh, six on that oh no four on the top four
I don't like when the design uh, created, um, you know, like not on one page. You have to kind of flip it one and another, but that's okay. Uh, this is our center. So now six, I will count upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, now we created our first square. From there will be easy. So just this is complicated. My mistake, sorry, because I did not see first that, um, well, I should check that first. I did not see that it starts not from center exactly between those squares. So now we have, I can put this line in here, long one. And I can make my new marking right in here. So that was a good mistake because that will show you that you have to really pay attention. So now basically this is our first square which is not exactly center if I can zoom to you because that's the way design printed on the paper. Um, if you can look, you can see that, let me put my pen away, uh, if you look you can see that this is our center was, but the square exactly not centered properly. But that's the way our first square, and now you can start, doesn't have to be even from center center, you can start literally from, for example, this corner, okay? So you find this corner, if we go to this uh, piece of paper in here, so this is a little square, you see this square, this is the square in here, but the full square will go, it's behind that red line, behind this center that we created, so from here, from here, this is your first square, oh, sorry, see, this is your first square, and we'll be end up on another side, in here, because it doesn't, not print it properly on the paper, so it's a little bit complicated because the way it's printed. So in this, now, from, from here, if you don't want to start from the center, now from here you can count, now scratch these lines, never mind them, okay? Uh, now from here I will count that I created my first square, that's my center, and now I'm count not from this line, not from the center but from this edges that I created. So I start from here, for example, and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is my next line will be there. Or just to put like a dot. Sometimes I do just a dot, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And sometimes I just go and do like push my pen to create this kind of like a fat dot. Or literally, if it's easy for you, make a little line. Uh, now from this one I don't need to count from this side because now I can just mark it on this one, just double check, double count, make sure your canvas is properly counted. Line up your ruler very close to those holes so you can mark them on the holes, not on the bumpy area. This way, and then next line will be here. Okay. 
okay so there you just have to ignore this little marking this is our first squares and obviously to mark it up for you better where is your center you can create this line a little bit more fat x kind of so you know this is your center of your canvas for later on if you have a more marking it's just now a little bit confusing because i have this line and we're just gonna ignore this line that i created on the center in here okay okay this one line thin line because you don't need the line anymore okay our main lines is this one and this one okay but that was our center marked same thing like in here on the middle line uh, and now you just have to figure out how many squares or this way you need to count to find your whole frame which what you need to do is look your pattern where's our red line so we can kind of see better okay so this is our red line which way we're gonna go down okay okay like in here okay this is our red line this is our center line okay so our first square that we created this is our first square in here and next square go down so how many you need to make them if you look you see this squares right so you need to count them one square two three four five six seven eight and literally just one line after that so you need to count eight times count down okay so from our center that I already created I have to count eight times which is 800 would be um, not 800 well yes 80 would be 80 so we count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I need to make my new marking because the other marking wasn't right okay double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten keep going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten You can just use the pins you can buy um, you know any any pins you, you can just stitch it like if you don't want to mark it, you can just uh, put those pins inside but I like marking because okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I will double check later I will count one more time later uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just want to see how many squares we get to the bottom, like how many inches of the fabric will be on the end. So I will count just in one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many squares we have now after this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. I need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is my, my 10 and of course we will have like a one more 
uh, stitch to go behind that line. You can mark it, you can don't have to mark it, you just have to remember it's there. So now if you mark if you mark this way your lines and you mark this way your lines later will be easier to create your squares because you're gonna have a markings and you don't need to count anymore for example um, this way uh, why because you will have a lines already line up so if I want to do now uh, see I need to do my okay this lines this way Make sure I look from the top. Go next. Hopefully I count all right. If I mistake on count, then I'm just going to wash this canvas and that's it. If you want to wash first to make your canvas softer, that's the time to do before you actually making your marker markings so as you can see I mark this way but when I do my lines this way so that way kind of like I don't have to count again 1, 2, 3, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 uh, it's already kind of counted squares for me this way I just need it to count in here one line and then create all my long lines so there you go see the way we're doing we're creating our lines and here's our last line let me get close to me so I can see what I'm having in here and I have to say that this is a good amount actually still left And our last stitch will be, we can still kind of mark it up if you want one line. You can even outline one more line. But here is what we have left. How many centimeters to the edge of this canvas? Well, basically this fat line is here. It's a five centimeters in here plus one stitch you need to do. So about five centimeters. And I think on the other side will probably same amount. So this is how you start. And if you create this marking all the way in here, create your lines this way. Well, first you need to do is to create marking all the way 10 from your center, for example, right? 10, 10, 10, 10. Then you put in here something for the color then you put in here 10 10 10 and then when you mark it up you have your squares created and extra lines can go from this way to one line so all you have to do is to create um, counting like how far you have to do in here so you can mark 10 10 10 and then again you're gonna have your lines uh, nicely done on another side and then you can start from wherever you want you can start from the corner after that because you will have fully squared out your design and then you have this uh, beautiful marking as the square some girls create even centers inside of the squares like to make a five and five that way you can even determine even more for example uh, for example to find the center of your design would be right so you you count five one two three four five and then from here one two three four five let me show you what I mean. You found your center. Like this. Okay. Just like that. So you have a 
one square and at the same time you have a center of the square to even help you more to find um, how to cross stitch and easy to kind of find um, the center of each of your design in here right so that's your square 10 by 10 which is 100 stitches in one square so that's how you start to work on a printed not counted non-printed this is the counted cross stitch uh, now about designs on a paper some paper you have to really check your uh, designs this video kind of going to be a little bit longer I guess but if you have uh, no usually it's on a printed design you have uh, symbols on a canvas and symbols on a paper here we don't have a symbols obviously on a canvas because it's a non printed canvas so you have in here all your symbols but check first if you have a for example in here um, sometimes have the same symbols but in capital and lowercase they kind of easy to make a mistake so just check like I have in here Y and Y you look in, in here Y where is my Y oh there in the orange capital and then I have another Y in here as a lowercase and a darker color so make sure don't mistake because even V and probably another V will be in here somewhere um, well Z Z capital and Z lower make sure to check samples first before you start stitch so you don't mistake with your threads and not to create uh, mistakes obviously in here number one number one it's your number one in here as well so you will find number one of your thread will be on this bottom palette right in here okay here is your number one this is your threads that you have to it's after focus that you have to start and then you find your symbol one which in blue hopefully no more one you, you need to find where that symbol on your canvas i cannot see it's so tiny right now hold on where oh no that's uh what is that so anyway you find that symbol right in here and then you know what you stitch in by square by square so first you have to learn what kind of symbols you have in here so you don't have a doubles where it look like symbols so you don't mistake up the threads and that is how you working with non-printed canvas how you grid if you don't want to grid all the way to find your corner you can just start from this fat X that we created our first center put your frame or a hoop and start right from here that way totally you're not gonna mistake and that's how you're working I hope this helped if you have still any questions please ask if and I will explain in my next cross stitch video have a good day everyone I love you all and I will see you next time